All right, guys. Here's the test setup. Um, I'm running two EBN type six inch by six inch plate cells. They're six thirty six plates each. Um, combined, it basically makes a uh, seventy cell series arrangement. Running on. Let me get that in there. 142.9 volts, 143. Uh, here is one connector connection. Here's the jumper connection to the other side of the plate, and there is the other side. I have two capacitors to buffer the rectified DC. They are 3.3 farads a piece. Um, then I got my rectifier right here. It's warm, but nothing too big. Running at about a 112.8 volts AC, and we're doing about 13.7. Uh, it varies; it goes up and down. Um, I do have a pump on the system, however, it does not change the. Uh, Amp draw, it's good for mixing up solution, purging the cells of air, but I, I'm not running it right now. I had a Swift Tech um, CPU pump. Yeah, those things are a pile. They don't work very well, even with a, a computer power supply. Um, some modifications that I've done to the generator. Oh, well, let's see. Is this going to be bright enough? Let's bring a light down. All right, uh, let's see where I can get you in. There. You notice I have completely blocked off the carburetor. Um, that's a piece of plexi. I am running the HHO into the point where the fuel used to go. Um, I've taken out the jets out of the carburetor and made it as free-flowing as possible without drilling it. I don't want to uh, ruin the carburetor beyond um, putting it back to what it used to be, but it, it, it's pretty much opened up as much as possible. I've taken the air fuel screw, which is a screw right down in there, the little brass one right there, open as far as possible. The throttle position is still very much um, closed. How can I do this with two hands? Let's see, uh, I gotta have something to hang this on. Well, we'll set it right here. Uh, you can see it right there. Let's see if I can get... Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, light turned. This will be nice. All right. That's full throttle. That's closed. It's barely cracked. What I did do is I drilled into the carburetor spacer right there and I put a eighth inch NPT thread to it to a quarter inch barb fitting and that goes up and around and into the crankcase ventilator. So all the air that it draws in literally comes through the crankcase. Um, I'm doing that to pull back some of the HHO loss to blow by. So this this doesn't really have an intake per se. It, it, it goes through the uh, crankcase ventilation system. So that's pretty much that. That's four minutes. Um, I'll get set up to run it and I will have you guys right back. Oh, just additional notes. I do have a couple wires jammed into the outlet, ran over, so that I can put a test load on it to see what we get. Um, I am not producing as much gas as Scarecrow is. He's running twin 8-inch cells. I'm running twin 6-inch cells. I do have an 8-inch right there, but they're getting ready to be torn down and reconfigured, so it is what it is. I wanted to run on the 6s and see what we can pump out of it. And these things are and for a six inch cell, these things are pumping. Um, drawing 13 amps there. I'd have to figure out the, 
math on the MMW. Let's see, what was it? It's about five and a quarter, five. Uh, let's see. I'd have to look at my notes, and I don't have them right here. Seven. One one two point eight. And I don't think my power is as good as his. I I only have 112 to work with. Even without a load, it doesn't change much. I'm using about 1550 watts. Oops. Out of that, I'm getting anywhere from seven to well, high sevens to low nine uh, liters per minute. So, maybe I can get it, maybe I can't. We'll find out. I'll be right back. RoyaltyFreeMusic.com RoyaltyFreeMusic.com royaltyfreemusic.com